Yeah, approach into tumbling is a big one because that's one where everyone's like, <laughs> and you look what like December. <laughs> <laughs> Like everyone's face is not like I'm excited to do this. It's like I hope I do this right. But like legitimately, guys, put yourself at that point in the routine where you know sometimes you give up. How are you gonna make that different? Do you feel like you're dying? Do you say something to someone else? Like when I'm standing there and I'm really tired, I'm like, if I do this pass amazing, I might get that hit zero feeling of my whole team rather than going, if I let us down, I let my whole team down. And I'm not going to get yeah, that feeling. It's like what you want to feel like at the end of the routine. Just going to close our eyes just for a minute. Lie down. Are you dying? <laughs> yeah. What are you going to think about, Sam? Um, no, what part of your routine are you going to think about? <laughs> um, probably like right before my stunts because that's where I get like the most nervous. I'm music. Beck, what are we doing right now? I wish I could tell you. <laughs> What are they doing, Shans? They're doing pyramid now, so we're gonna do some work up to full outs. So just warm up a few skills, put a few of them together, and then um, get some full outs done tonight. We've done full outs the last couple of sessions, but we just try and like get into them a different way each time. So yeah, just to mix it up, keep them doing different things. Keep them fresh. Especially all those little rewinds and funky things that are happening. If it doesn't mean uncontrolled, it means push it nice and aggressive, but still use your technique, because that was crazy. Even when we come up from those front balls, that split, we're like almost all the way laid out. Leisha and Kaylee make sure we're like sitting in those feet up. Yeah. Um, girls, remember, what's the difference between doing your pyramid oh, now than before? Same like, you know I mean, at the end of the routine? You have a lot more power, you're a lot more fresh. In other words, control and use technique. Today, Shans has told us that it's mostly full outs and whatnot, and then we keep adding to it. But do you have anything to add? Not really. It's literally we're changing their mental strength. Yep. To be like, because they can do the skills, but it's just not. There's no presence. It's like. They're doing what they're told instead of doing it because they love it. That's, so that's the hardest thing to change for them is just need to try and change that mindset. What are you guys doing at the moment? Wait, that's what you ate? What did you wait, 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 what did you eat? When you guys catch it, are you going to throw it out like that? Then why are we doing it? It's wasting our time. Go again. One, three, four, five, six. One, place that three, five, six. I want to see these double outs have been so beautiful like we worked on before. I want to see those jump arms, aggressive legs, and that pyramid even. How did you feel during that like, half full out? Everything hurts. Ellie, was your 10 out of 10? I hope it was. Okay, a couple of things like that cut all over the legs. That was gross. We had like flex feet, bent knees. That was really hard. One, two, three, hit back.
That was so good. Did you see that gross loading? <laughs> Roasted. Got that on camera. What happened, Courtney? Don't care. We did it for the video and then you cut it out. Do it again, I might put it in. Hey Bear, can I just ask, did you get like a tan and like slick your hair back for a can? <laughs> hair's because when I stand ready for my tumbling and it's not tight, I do this like a Yes! Do it again. That's not okay. We're focusing on details today, ladies, and we're getting messy out. Think about it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, and one, two, four, five, seven, eight. Guys, grab some water. Got about 30 seconds, and we're going to do a run through from John to back to the end. Context as to what they're doing now. Um, warming up tumbling. Um, today's a weird day just because they're not a team right now. They're all like individuals, so the vibes are down. So warm up tumbling, and then from there we're going to start doing flouts. Hopefully get through three flouts. We might do first flout everything to tuck and lace, just get the confidence up for um, stunting, and make sure the stunting's good. And now that we'll probably rep out. Hopefully two flouts, um, and any changes we need to make, we'll make after that. So we've already made a few changes for stunting because we've got to build that confidence up. And right now they're just. They're having a lazy day. This is not there. It's not there today. Again, day two. Awesome routine. Something. No more tumbling. Nothing's going. The worst feeling is probably when your coaches give up on you because you've already given up on yourself enough. We've got a lot of coaches on our team. So the fact that we can't really tap into our side of coaching and not put ourselves in Dave and Chance's shoes is pretty sucky. Like, I think the truest thing that Dave said today was that we're all talk and we're no action at this point because we, we talk a lot. Never happens. What do you do moving forward? Um, well, I mean, usually we talk. Yeah, we probably come to terms that we just need to sit down and dig, it, dig deep personally and just make our own decision, find the reason why we're actually doing this. Spending a fair bit of money with Sacrificing a lot to be here. I think because they were doing really well, probably like two, many weeks ago, like they improved really well here and like same things came more consistent. And they got lazy. They're like, oh, okay, well, it's coming really easy now, like we can like, relax. And they're like, oh, it's coming really easy now, we need to train harder and harder and harder. It's bad training. Like, you can never walk away saying it's a bad training because you've got to learn something from it. But it's a training where they either have to take away from it, like, well, this is going to be our world routine. Or this is going to we're going to have to change it for the next few training sessions. Yeah. So it's either a turning point for them, or we're just going to change our coaching style and just coach the way they train. How do we move forward from this? We'll have to find out on Thursday. Yeah, and well, in, in saying that they need to make a change and show that they're actually willing to put in the effort. So we'll see, see if they step up.